So I'm going to show you guys how to add lining. Lining is a very important thing for some curtains because maybe they're not blocking light the right way you want them to. Or, or maybe you want to add a protective layer so the sun doesn't fade them as much. Either way, all you're going to need is a blank piece of fabric and your curtain fabric. I chose white because I want a nice light color, but if you're trying to do blackout curtains, you might want a thicker black to put behind as the lining. The lining fabric I'm working with is almost the same size as our curtain, so that's how I cut it out to match. And then what we're going to do is just keep our right sides together and line it all up. So the thing is, since it's more narrow than the curtain, you're going to align your sides on one end, and then it's not going to quite cover you know, it's not going to quite reach the other side. So we're just going to make sure that our curtain fabric is folded just a tad so that these edges are touching as well. So I want both. Here you can see I'm lining up both my edges so they're touching. And I'm just going to stitch them with a 1 half inch seam allowance on both sides. So let me give you guys a second to do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm not even pinning my layers together because I'm trusting my own hands and eyeballs to do the work for me. So as long as the edges remain touching, we're going to be good. If you don't trust your hands and eyeballs, go ahead and pin them because pins really do help that fabric stay in place. So here you can see I've attached my lining and we've got some extra room on the front. Let's turn this right side out and I'll show you what to do next. So here we've got our front. I'm evenly distributing it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to iron each side flat now so that the lining remains in the center of the back and we have a good crisp edge to hang down from our curtain panel. This is also a great technique you can use if you don't want to worry about finishing your curtains. This is our alternative way. The difference is you will have to buy some extra fabric. So if you're trying to save money, maybe you don't want lining. But I really do think this adds to the look. It makes it look more complete. As you can see, now we have this nice finish. It was super easy, and now you know how to add lining to any of your curtains. Hey guys, this looks pretty cool now, doesn't it? I'm going to show you how to make this yourself at home. The technique is known as either color blocking or adding stripes. All you're going to need is a curtain and some other fabric that you want to add to it, and you're going to be good to go.